Question, expectation for practice today. What does uh, y'all Thursdays look like? We got block starts, so I'm going I'm to I'm win me. I'm going to win me one. Mm -hmm. Build that confidence, and I mean, that's all I need. I just need to be close enough so I can strike at the right time. That's gotcha. when we actually start competing. I um, mean, yeah, I step on the track, and uh, usually we do one lap, or sometimes we do two laps. Sometimes we're jogging it. Uh, most of the times we're just going to walk a lap or something like that. And then we do four strides, you know, just jogging 100 meters. And um, after that, we warm up for about give or take 30 to 40 minutes. Pretty much, I just do uh, a lot of band work, uh, stretching my hamstrings, my quads. And I just want to make sure that I'm warmed up and ready to go before I actually start running on the track. So pretty much after my band work, uh, we do A skips, high knees, and butt kicks. Um, and those are vital for me in order to get my body ready and primed to get on the track and run. So I have a process that my coach and I came up with. I use three feet and then two feet, determining which, uh, how many meters the block should be up. And um, once I set those, I just do one little uh, prep, get out of the blocks just to see if that feels right, and then after that, it's ready to go. My mindset is pretty much to get in there and win and compete, um, but sometimes there's gonna be moments where I'm not gonna be 100% there, so the other goal I have is just to make sure that they don't get too far ahead because my tough end speed is gonna kick in by the time we get to 30 to 40 meters. Been in control of heels, but you sacrifice your angle, yeah. Um, for me, air timing, uh, that's one of the things that I've been working on the most. Um, usually when I tend to get out of the blocks, I naturally want to get up tall from the get-go, um, and I have an issue with staying in my dry face, so I end a 10, I usually have elongated stride length, and I don't want to have that during the first 30 meters of the race, um, so that's something that I've been focusing on a lot. They only the shoulder head, but we're saving you that we're pulling back, but we just spend a little bit too much time in the air. Well, I was just trying to focus on getting this up, but I did worse when I tried to just focus on this. One thing, you did that, which is correct. Now we just gotta go back down to that low end being on the ground. So maintain this motion right here, let's just cut that air time down about half. Uh, so my teammates, I mean, everybody's good at certain things when it comes to track and field, and a lot of my teammates are very good in the blocks. Um, for me, it's very important that I have them because they make me better at what I'm lacking right now. Um, I tend to say that I'm good at you know longer distance, and they're pretty good at the sprint. So um, when we're all just competing against each other and trying to make each other better, um, it's it's it just makes all of us run faster and. What's that, that saying, uh, iron sharpens iron? I, I totally believe that because I've definitely gotten a lot better in the blocks since I've been with my teammates and um, the results you know, show the, on the, the results show themselves when I step on the track and I'm, I'm ready to go for uh, the races. Just not have that cycle. But, like I said, man, we just got to do it now. We just got to do enough just to get in close range, man. Now, when you get to 20, that's when your ass needs to be going to work. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You got to be going early in er, early in the race and strong enough to be strong on the on the other end. So you got to try to make up as much time as you can right here. Yeah. 
Just fucking get up and go, man. I would say on average, I've been, I've been a lot better at staying close. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had like one or two where I kind of fucked up. Yeah. But we gotta get consistent out there. Yeah. The ones that can stay close. Yeah. But like I said, man, it's just shit, yeah. man. It's mid-month. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we get to May, we're gonna be feeling good, man. Uh, I mean, every single time I step in the blocks or we do a rep uh, for like a 120 or however many meters, um, we always watch film and he always emphasizes on what I'm doing wrong and how I need to correct it. And we've been trying to figure out certain cues. So uh, he just pushes me to, you know, focus in on one simple thing. I don't want to make everything too, uh, I don't want to focus on too many things because sometimes that just makes the whole car itself uh, go into shambles. So the focus is like, okay, work on airtime, okay. Sometimes I work on airtime, but then I'm not going to be as explosive because I'm focusing on that one thing. And then the next step is like, okay, now you know the feeling of that. And then he tells me he's trying to just put it together. So he always emphasizes on what I need to work on every single time I get on the block starts or every single time I do a rap. Um, sometimes if we're like doing a, a 150 or something like that and I get out a little bit slow and I'm like, okay, what the, what the heck did I do? He says, hey, you got out a little slow, so just give it a little bit more aggression. And then I do that and then the times are there. Right, we are right now. Going into that next cycle, boom, we, we right where we need to be. Now the thing is, can we can we maintain the same consistency all the way through these three one twenty? That give me my gauge of what kind of shape we're in. After the blocks, we have three one twenties, and the mindset I go in with uh, before doing that is just being aggressive. Um, because one twenty is usually, if I'm not aggressive, then I'm going to be a tad slower. Um, then I, like a tad slower, and I'm going to be behind the times that he wants me to hit. Um, so I always emphasize, like, you know, push uh, before I go. And, um, I mean, yeah, those are pretty tough workouts because usually we're running like 9.8, 9.9s, uh, depending on what shape we're in. Um, sometimes I'll go 9.6, 9.7. Come on, guys, keep working. Come on, look on the toes. Woo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Damn. What? I've never run this fast, back to back my life. Welcome to Smart Welcome, Athletics. my brother. It feels good. Well, I said my first year, I was like, wait. Yeah. You only were nine? I never ran that shit in the open. Exactly. <laughs> I was so happy when I ran my first one. Did I ever seen you, Gat, and Zay. Uh, Zay blazing. Yeah. Me and Kyrie getting like 10 O's. They're like, what the fuck? Okay, my first year, everybody ran nine except me. I ran like 10, 10 or some shit. And I was like, nah, give me another one. And I was like, come on, AB. I went, ah! <laughs> 10, 12. <laughs> 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 and then like two weeks later, I hit my first nine. Yeah, and then we we're like celebrating. Oh, we run around naked. I said, like, yes. Uh, I think I was at 10, four. This week, I hit a 10, 0, so next week, we'll see. When you bring oh, we the got one more. Yeah. Hmm? When you bring the belt out, that's gonna get you there for sure. You said what? The Dynasty. Oh, actually, that thing is going to help us a lot. I love yeah. that belt. I've never used that at all. We didn't even use that in Juco. Yeah. <laughs> Seen y'all won uh, uh, Juco Nationals? Yeah, I saw that. Indian Hills? I got tagged and everything, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Later, my friend said, he posted, he said, I'm the reason why they even got that yeah. point. I said, probably. Right. It's like Kenny started this program. That's Literally, because it's like I went there, then everybody started going there. I had niggas always texting me, hey, how's this? How's yeah. that? Yeah, that's how I was. I saw, yeah. I saw yeah. for the SC. Everybody started coming. And we were dominant. I'm like, hold on, we ain't never had this many dogs. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shit, I'm just surprised to be y'all. Because y'all always won every year, it seems. Yeah. You want this year? This I mean, year, they, last they, year. they didn't have, they didn't have, I they didn't have, have anybody. Up, bro. Yeah. They got distance, but. This program just went down. You got a statue in any hills? Need one. No. I need, I need one too. I need one. Hey, we need one of them good luck statues. I want to go and touch it I before. I need to go back to the when I do 120s or I'm in a 200 meters <laughs> is uh, making sure that I'm not, you know, bending with the track um, because when I'm in motion, I, uh, we're wasting energy if I'm bending, like if I'm moving like this around the curb, my energy is not going forward, it's kind of going sideways or all over the place. Uh, so the one thing that I focus on is just trying to stay straight as can be when I'm running the turn and then just making sure that I'm up on my hips because sometimes when I'm sprinting I like to sit down and I will overstride and use more hamstring and I don't want that in the 200 meters or the 120s. So when I do that, 
everything comes together and it feels smooth, like I'm not doing anything. And then once I get to the 100 meter straight, I usually tend to just, just maintain, you know, just make sure to be liquid, stay float, fluid with the motion. And once I do that, then everything else comes together and then it doesn't feel as hard. Yeah. Much better than last week. I'm taking some windows off every now and then when we need it. Carry the golf shit and do 10 seconds a day. That's why I've been saying. Having a break that day off, bro. Having a break that day off. This day was a Thursday, and after the 120s, we ended up going to the gym. And for us, a Thursday is kind of, it's really hard because we already had the whole week of sprinting. So after running these 120s fast, like our bodies is already tired and we want to go home. Uh, but you know, we still got to finish off the work. Um, so we went in doing some uh, bench press, and those are pretty hard because I think we also went up in weight. And I'm not going to the gym, bro. So I felt every muscle, every fiber just screaming saying stop but you know the work don't the work don't stop and we got goals to achieve. So after this long day it's off to recovery.